Okay, for this next problem, uh, we need to determine how much crust each slice has. So, uh, by the amount of cr crust, they're saying uh, we measure, if we were to use a measuring tape, how long? Here, let me make sure it's on the paper here. If you use a measuring tape, how long would the curved edge of the slice be? So, now instead of area, now we're dealing with circumference. I don't know if you guys remember, circumference is the total distance around the outside of a circle. So for the first one, we use the equation for circumference. Circumference of a circle equals 2 times pi times r. And again, the size of our circles hasn't, changes, hasn't changed. Our r is still 5. So here we have 2 pi times 5, which equals 10 pi. 10 times 3.14 equals 31.4. So that's our circumference. That's the total distance around the outside of the whole circle. Now, what do we determine? We, well, we already know that for the first pizza, we're going to have a total of four slices. So if we want to know the size of the crust for one of those slices, we take the circumference and we divide it by four. 31.4 divided by four. What does that come out to? That comes out to 7.85. Uh, that's the total length of the crust for our first uh, for our first pizza. Now let's go over to our other pizza, right? Our other slices, right? The pizza is the same size, so our circumference again is still going to be 31.4, right? That doesn't change. But now instead of dividing it by four, we're going to divide it by 12 because we have 12 pizzas. 12 slices instead of 4. So what's 31.4 divided by 12? That comes out to 2.62. 2.62. So when we have 4 slices in the pizza, the crust is 7.85 inches long. When we have 12 slices, the crust is 2.62 inches long.